On the show today, Chris Horn from Amscan is back. He shows us how to fly Easter eggs, how to decorate this basket using this beautiful weave technique, and how to make these little flowers. Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. And we have a brand new guest. Just kidding, just kidding. It's, I, 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 I don't have enough adjectives no, for just, you. Just, yeah. It's Chris Sorry. from Amscan, it's me. everybody. Hi. Chris Horn, the stupendous, oh. the one and only, the spectacular. All the, right, g no. give me some more adjectives. <laughs> we got we got lots of videos to do. Okay, all right. Save Sorry, some. I've got I've just been told off Save some. on BMTV. <laughs> Great. All right. So I've no idea what you're going to make. Okay. I'm but going. I'm guessing, guessing, it might be Easter related. Is that right? Yeah. Good oh, guess, Greg. Yes. Easter basket. Yeah. Um, just a little little something which could be a decoration, could be, if you change things around a little bit, it could be gift. As it just uses a few nice techniques, makes a, a nice little thing for Easter. So okay. Quite simple, nothing too complicated. Thought it would be quite fun to have a go at. You know what? Easter stuff has been selling far more than I think it really should. I don't know why. Why are people going crazy for Easter? Don't know. I don't know either. No, it's it seems to have been, been a bit been, quiet, really. Well, it's the last yeah. couple of years, it's got better, but it just seems to be bonkers this year. Anyway, sorry. Well, that's good, isn't it? It is good. That's great. That's keep keep going bonkers, everybody. Keep yes, going bonkers. That's really what we want. So anyway, here's his basket. It's 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 nice enough, but it's kind of boring. It's just a boring. We sell that. Don't say that about well, it. But it's oh, just it is, isn't it? You know, it's it's functional. People collect apples with it. It's so. yes, it's, it's functional. Yeah. Let's try and make it look a bit prettier. I've got some lime green Sempertex fashion, fashion lime green Sempertex 160s here, um, which I've pre-inflated because you don't really need to stand there and watch me inflate no, the balloon. No, I'm just pushing those together. These are always fun on the video because of the noise they make. Yes. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. And then I'm going to plait them. Oh. So it's just a very simple plait. Wow. Give them a little bit of texture. You make that look so easy. Well, it is. <laughs> but right. it, it's quite nice. I tell you what, though, it's not so easy trying to plait your granddaughter's hair. Okay. Technique's the same, but it ain't anywhere near as easy as that because she moves. She moves. She never stops moving. <laughs> so How old is she now? She's five. She five, five, really? This oh, week. my word. Yes, absolute delight. Now then, this is a bigger basket yes. than the one that I previously had and rejected. So I'm going to, because it was too small. Okay. One, so I'm going to plait another lot. Oh. <laughs> Just to make sure it goes all the way around. And I'm going to add those. You know, where, do I, where do I want the ends? There, so I'll add this to here. Just redesigning as we go. Okay, good. Because I haven't actually done that with this basket and then all of a sudden I'll go, oops, it's a bit big. So we'll just add those on there. As I've said to, continue to the platform. you and others that have been on BMTV, this is what happens in our world. It certainly you is. You have to adapt. You certainly do. And that is the key thing, isn't it? Being able to, you know, be, having the, the ability, if you like, the confidence, I don't know, the practice, to Oops. just go, okay, that's not working. Let's do this instead. Thank you very much, Greg. Yeah. Hold that down. Um, actually, now I'm going to change this again. I'm going to start there. And I'm going to go all the way around. So we're going to start at the base of the handle. If you would be so kind, that's very good. And then I have to take these and twist all that lot together. So there's no set way. You're yeah. just twisting. Yeah, just grab them all together and put a twist in. Okay. And if you put a bit of tension around the whole thing to start with, which I did, then that should sit where you want it. Ooh, oh, dear. Oh. Sit where you want it to sit. Oh. Calm we've, down. Got, we've got another crisis. <laughs> How do you cope in a crisis? Well, this one's not so easy to fix because oh. it was platted and obviously now it's come unplatted. So there was obviously a sharp bit oh, somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But let's see. Let's see. Put that in there. That was a sharp bit there. I should have just stopped faffing with it when I had the opportunity to. Well, Chris, we all make mistakes, even even you. 
Somebody with your knowledge and that experience. That wasn't a mistake. That was uh, well, the mistake something was, else. Well, the mistake was faffing with it more. Yes, it was. So that's true. It wasn't a mistake of the balloon. It wasn't a, oh, I think I'm breaking the basket. That's, I have that's just discovered, that. though, which I didn't know you could do, hmm. was that you can actually still plait it, even when both ends are... See, the BMTV is educational even for the guests. It certainly is. I didn't know that was feasible. There you go. There you go. Well, well, well. Right, so, back to where we were before. And let's see if we can put it on the basket without bursting it again. Okay, fingers crossed. There's one here, look. That's, that's... That was the one, probably. I think maybe if we got some tape or something, we could... I just took it. Under Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. No, not really. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll give it a go. If and this goes it, wrong, we're gonna we're gonna cut and we'll do we'll it all cut again. And, start again. and yeah. nobody will ever see it. They this won't, footage. they'll never know. Don't faff. That'll do. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna take these ones and go around the handle in contra directions, just to sort of give the impression of twining vines or something. You know? Contra directions. Yeah, yeah opposite, what does, what does that changing, mean? you know. So just going random? Yes. Okay. And then I'll twist those together. Make one of them round. Yeah. Cool. That'll do. We will adjust the length of those a little towards okay. the end. Um, no, I just need stop faffing. Stop Don't faffing. Faff. Don't faff. <laughs> I need to cover up some of these ends and okay. disguise them. So we're going to make some daisies. Okay. We like daisies. Put it over there for a minute. Um, oh, Mike's got some balloon bond. Do we need any balloon bond? Um, that could be quite useful. We might need it. Okay, Mike, right thank you so I much. Don't, but yes, we might. Thank you very much, Mike. No, Mike, come here and say hello to everybody. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's usually on the other side. He is. Yeah. I mean, you can see why. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> and the other mic is. Do you want to make a flower? No. No. Okay. okay, I will. Yeah? Yeah, I've started doing it. Yeah? Yeah. So I hear. I know, I know, I know. Go on then. Did it with Here's Rob yours. Driscoll, and he was very gentle on me. No, I mean, I'll you're going to tell me what to do. I can't just do it. No, no. We'll, go, we'll do step by step okay. as we go. Because this is, this is my method of making flowers, which, you know, there's umpteen ways of doing this. Um, and some of them are trickier and some of them are not so tricky. And this one I find quite easy. So I'll turn mine off. We want to try and get all the six petals roughly the same length. I'm glad you the used the word roughly. Bit. Roughly. Yeah. I mean, okay. you know, that one's pretty good. That one's a little bit off. But a small variation doesn't matter. It's when you've got some petals two inches long and others. Okay. That's where it all goes to pot. So choose the, the length of your petal. Basically, this is going to be bent in half. So if you want it to be about there, that's going to make the petal. Put a twist. Hang on to that bit, fold it over, put another twist in line with the knot, and then take that and twist yeah. them and lock them together and pull the knot through the gap so that they, they don't oh, come idea. apart. I lost it now. So Cut that round, that's it. And then go round again. This is a hard bit, going round stuff. And then do I put and it through the middle? And then pull it through. Yeah, and then it won't come undone. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, I've done it wrong. Right, right. so now we've They're got... the same size. It'll be fine. All right. We're going to use this to measure the next one. So we fold that on there. We put a twist at the end. Oh, it's like linking sausages. It is. We then fold it back for another okay. one. And put a twist there. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we... Okay. You well... might not have enough balloon. All right. So, it's fine though. Yeah, cool. And then we need to do it one more time. So another one. So we're constantly measuring each bubble against the previous ones. Okay, I've got a little bit left, so it was long enough. You have got a little bit, so yeah, it was indeed. Okay, so what are you doing now? No, I'm, I'm catching up with you. There we go. <laughs> so we now have... Oh, you twisted it. You so this thing here, the, the end bit, go round and round and round lots of times so that it's nice and nice and tightly you know, twisted in because then we don't need it. We can get rid of that. Oh, can we? we? Cut that off. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, right, then to make your six petals then, we're just going to squash these, so we're going to push that oops, into the middle and twist them around. Okay, and the same again with another one. What? Did I do that right? What? Yep. Yeah. You twist it like that? That's it. Oh, it's burst. Oh. It's all right, it's okay, it's organic. Five petal one and then the last one. It's organic, yeah, that's, that's the oh, answer. Oh no, it? I've done that one. What am I doing? I'm pushing it, that's it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I should not be involved in actually making stuff. Oh, see, I've lost one as well. I didn't want you to feel left out. All right, thank you. There you go, that's my push. flower. <laughs> right, then we need the middle. <laughs> See, why do I do stuff? Why do I volunteer? I just put myself out there, Chris. You did, and you, you did know, very well, Greg. I know, but then for you, a first you, attempt. You, you, you stomp on my ass. No, I didn't stomp on it. I just... You threw it away. Well, I'm thinking... Rob Driscoll you... burst my flower. Did he? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I was here. a little less dramatic. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that bit, though, because it's too small. So there you go, we'll have a five petaled flower instead. We need a middle. So I'm going to use a five inch in this case, but blow it really, really, really tiny. Squeeze the air right up into the end, like that. Yep. And then I'm just going to pull it through the middle of your flower. But you don't trust me to do it, finish it off. Okay. And wrap it around. That's good. That's fine. Okay. Fine, there we go. Chris. So really, 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 yeah. really, 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 really simple. You do this one then. No, no, sorry. Okay. No, oh god, so I got... shouldn't have opened my mouth, should I? And then so... I'm going to put... Oh, it's not staying inflated. No. As it's squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Twist, twist, twist. Oh, I don't know if it's too big now. Wait, I'll do that. And then, oh no, it's coming. <laughs> I can't do it. You see, I knew what was coming. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm going to shorten this because it's too long. Okay. And I'm going to wrap that through the middle of that. So I'm just going to have a, a few daisies at the top here. So you're getting them all, uh, oh, you're just random lengths. Yeah, matter. yeah, okay. yeah. It's natural. That one can stay as long as it is. And these just literally attach on the ends. Oh, they look nice, actually. Yeah. And I'll put that one, peachy one, there. that and then because we've got all these other bits and bobs down here then a couple of these will, will attach oh bless you I'm gonna use it oh thank you yeah it's gonna get used you don't have to use it I'm not really no, offended now. definitely going to use it and then we'll put one more down there but I didn't do so we didn't put center in because I couldn't do it okay that's fine I give up <laughs> that goes in there so what do you normally do at Easter? Have a roast dinner or something? Yes, yes, yes. All the oh, oh sure. All the family come out. Well, you should always use round end scissors when you when you like me. I'd borrow Lily's. Oh right, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, all the family comes round, and we have a, a big Easter meal, and it's great fun. Nice to Easter egg uh, hunt for the kids. Yeah, yeah. Very good. They're old enough. Well, one of them is old enough. Well, I don't know. I think Edward will join in this year. He's two. He'll be two. Where are we? Tuesday today. He'll be two on Thursday. All right. Cool. So uh, yeah, it's all happening. That's nice. Oh, it's marvellous. It's absolutely marvellous. Are you faffing again? Yeah, I'm sure. Stop faffing. Stop faffing. Right, so I put put my flowers on my grass, and then I'm just going to dress it up. So into that basket, you can put really whatever you fancy. Um, some shredded tissue, messy but lovely. Do we sell that? Yes. That, that size bag? No. Oh, it's okay. a bigger bag. I, I decanted so. some. Okay, good. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a little airfield nine inch yep. hoppy Easter bunny. Now that could be a real, real bunny. No, well, it could be a real bunny, but I mean a soft toy bunny. Yes, yes. Not a real bunny. <laughs> Not a real bunny. Um, an Easter egg, which could be a real chocolate Easter egg, but isn't. This is a five-inch uh, Sempitex pastel matte green inside a 12-inch 
clear with pastel dots, the score oh, dots. Oh, I was going to ask you how they do. So they were just stuck on, they're not, are yeah, they? No, they're not. So I've used a 12 inch on the outside, a five inch on the inside. Oh, but nice. that could be an actual chocolate bunny and anything else you want to, to put in there as well. Now, there's one more bit that I want to okay. add to this, which is uh, an egg. Now, I have done these before. But I think we should do it one more time because it is a fun thing to do. So get a bit of ribbon. Yep. Um, I know what I haven't got, but it doesn't matter. Well, what if you're not got? I'm we can probably get it. It was the helium, but it's fine because oh, I have okay. got some pre, pre done. Okay. So tie a scrap of something. Yep. Around your piece of ribbon. Trim it off a bit. Oops. Goodness me. And then I'm going to drop this. I'm going to turn this inside out. Drop this inside there. His mic's gone off in search of helium. Yeah, I, I can hear helium uh, coming. Clank, yes. So I've turned it inside out, so the print is now on the inside. And I've dropped Mike, me. Mike, welcome once again. In fact, Thank just, you, just Mike. come in. I didn't mean it when I said earlier on as well. <laughs> That'll do lovely. You're lovely. Oh. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> you. <laughs> right, so the bubble on the, on the ribbon has yep. gone inside the balloon, uh, right to the end. And then I'm going to use another bit. So it's a raisiny twist it with is a, a ribbon attached. It is a raisin twist with a ribbon attached to it. Oh, yeah. And it's on the inside of the balloon there, like that. And then I'll tie another scrap around it so that it stays put. That should have been a bit longer. My fingers are too fat for this. Maybe I'll just, oh no, I've got it. There we go. So tie that round there to trap that raisin. Yep. Cut off what you don't need. Turn it back the other way. Oh yeah, I remember this now. Yeah. It just, one of the key things, I think, when you're doing anything like this is just have something that's maybe a little bit different yep. to what other people might be doing. So we're going to make fly-in Easter eggs. Double stuff it with a colour. That was a pastel matte lilac. And then... Oh, what are you going to use? Get myself a bit more ribbon and then we're going to inflate that. It's been a long time since I've helium. We've I had know. helium on the LCD. What scares me? Right, off. And that is perfect. I've got an Easter egg. Flying. It's different. It is. A bit of a change. Now it's gone way up there. It will come back down again in a moment. I just need to anchor it because I can't have a knot sitting on the top. It looks a bit naff. Okay. So, tiny bow. You know, I get asked how I do this so many times. Watch carefully. Fingers pinched there, tail. Finger there, loop it round. Finger here, loop it round. Push them into the middle. That's it. You made that look really easy. Well, I have done it a lot for a long time. But yeah, you can, I can make a, a simple bow really fast like that. Fingers get a bit like a knitting machine. <laughs> And then I shall tie that onto the top of my Easter egg. And it will hide the, the knot then. Yeah. Make it look a bit more like what it's supposed to be. Okay. Let that go again for a second. Ta -da. And grab these from over here. Ah, look at that. So here's. This is the Blue Peter moment. Here's the two that I made earlier. <laughs> One, two, three of them. Matching standard foil to the mini shape yep. so that we've got some kind of link. Note that the colour of the um, daisies also picks up the peach on the peach and all of that. It's all very important. And I'm just going to then wrap that around here. Oh. Oh. All right. Get that round there like that. Curl the ends 
and the job's done. So it's very, very simple, really, but it's got a few little things in there that maybe are not used as often as they could be um, with the daisies and the upside down Easter eggs and everything. And so yeah. you can switch it up with soft toys, with um, chocolate eggs, with whatever you want it to put in the It just makes it really, well. really special. It's just a, a, a way to present it that's more it than is. just your Kit Kat Easter egg. Merry Easter. Merry Easter. Happy Easter. Merry Easter. So Now, yeah. there's one more thing, though, because it's always, you know, it's the very best films and the very best videos, they have Easter eggs in them, don't they? So a little, little extra I bit. I see what you mean, yes. A little extra bit with a small variation. Let's put that back over there for the second. So we have more daisies, because I love these daisies. Once you've got the hang of them, they're really quick and easy to do. I've just changed the centre of that one slightly. Yeah. So I'll just demonstrate how that was done, just in case you didn't know. Is it an um, apple twist? That is, a, it, that is, yes, but when it's in the end of a 260, it's called a tulip twist. Okay, that makes sense. I suppose it does, I because guess, they often leave the stem yeah, and yeah. it looks like a tulip on the yeah, thing. Yeah. But tiny little bit there like that. And normally with a tulip twist, what you would do is you push that through. Yeah. Grab it. You know this. I, I, you've seen this. I've done this. And get your finger stuck. Get your yep. finger stuck. Pull it out. Do that. And then you can let go. You can push that knot back inside and it stays put. Because I'm going to pull that into the middle of that flower, it will come undone as soon as you pull it. Because, I see. Okay. So I'm just going to use that and tie ah, it. Ah, I see. That's all. So just wanted to, to point that out in case any of you guys wanted to recreate this and then couldn't work out why it was all falling apart. So. So then you just the did that like we did earlier. Exactly. Or like you did and I attempted to And then to do. if you get a bit of ribbon, like this, and you thread it through the petal. So just like through one of, the, one of the petals. And then if you hang on to that. I'll hang on to that. Somewhere and I'll unhook this before we pull the camera over. Yeah, we don't want to do that. No. And we've got some bunting, daisy oh, bunting. Oh, look at that. That you can then hang across top of your Easter table with your Easter basket, and it all ties together in all something. Something like that's so much fun. That's great, and so it's simple. really pretty. Yeah, just a string of daisies. I love it. So there we go. Chris. That's me Easter one. That is amazing. Thank you so much for that. Now, as a guest on BMTV, hmm. you might have heard, you get to ask everybody the question I of the week. I do. And so, I did think about this one. Okay. For once. It's well not a surprise this well time. Done. Um, on the, anticipating that this video is going to be out there on, on the line for like decades, I will just say that it, this year is 2024. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and it's relevant to that because this year, for some reason, we've had Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, and Easter. <laughs> All squashed yep. really, yeah, really, really, really close together. Yeah. And I'm just wondering, has that made a difference to the trade and the orders that you get in for each of the three seasons? Or has they helped? Have they enhanced each other? What's happened? Is That's a really good question. That's a, I really like that question. And can everybody please, please, please leave your comments down below because I'd be genuinely interested to know um, how trade has been with any and all of those events. Yeah, it's, just so close it's a really good one. I've like also that. had four family birthdays in the middle of all of them. Oh, it's been quite a month. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, for yeah. April. Came here for a break today, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Chris, thank you so much for that. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do hit the little bell icon. You'll be notified every time we upload a new show. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on TikTok as well. Stay happy. Stay positive. From Chris and I, see you soon. Bye. Bye.